Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to create a data entry form in Excel. This is a very useful and efficient way to enter data into a table where the table size is used, especially the number of columns. So entering data into such table is difficult and also time consuming because you have to scroll a lot both vertically and horizontally and also the chances of error is very high because you may put a data in any wrong cell. So Excel data entry form solve this problem. This is spreadsheet which contains a table. It contains order details. So these are the orders placed by company. And these are the columns, serial number, order ID, order date, status and supplier. We need to maintain all the orders placed in this table by adding data in each row. So we will see how to use form to enter data into this table. So currently we don't have the form command here anywhere here. So first we need to bring the form command into this quick access toolbar. So click here, go to more commands and it will open this. Here we can see quick access toolbar. Now in this drop down. We have to click and we need to go to this all commands and now we need to search the form command. Just scroll down and check where the form command is. So here we have this form command, click here and add it to here. Then click on OK. So now we can see the form command is here. One prerequisite to use the Excel form is to make this table an Excel table. So currently this is a plain data. So we need to convert this into an Excel table. So to convert it into an Excel table, click anywhere in this data range and then go to the home tab and here you can see in this tiles group we have this command format as table. So we can click here or press ctrl T. So it will open this. This is showing the data range and you can see my table has headers. This is checked. So it says the first row is a header. Click on OK. And now this has been converted into an Excel table. You can see here under this properties here it shows the table name this is table 1 now to use form just click on this form command and it will open this so let's see what this form shows the form name is order details because our sheet name is order details and it contains some elements so you can see serial number order ID order date status and supplier so these are nothing but our column names and against each element there is a text box so here we need to enter our data and you can see here this is a scroll bar and here it shows one of five. So basically it says we are in this first record out of the five records. So to navigate to the other records, we just need to click on scroll down. So this is your first record. This is the second record. This is the third record. So like that, we can navigate to the other records. Then here we have some buttons. We will see each button one by one. Now to add a new row, we need to click on this new button. So just click here and it will ask us to enter the data. Let's enter the data, serial number 6, order ID let me put 006, order date I will put 20th April 2022, status I will put shift and supplier let's say S3. Once we have put all the data, we can either click on this new button or press enter. So you can see here the new row has been added, serial number 6, order ID 006 and all this data. Let me add one more row. Serial number 7, order ID 007, order date let's say 11th of April 2022. So to move to the next box, we can press the tab button, status let's say created and supplier let it be K1 and we will click on this new button. So the new row has been added here. So like this, we can add new rows into this table using this Excel form. This is very easy. So to see each record, we can use this scroll bar. So this is serial number 1, then we can press the down arrow, serial number 2, serial number 3. So like that we can navigate to each record. Now let's see the next button that is delete. So delete button is used to delete a record. So if I want to delete this record, this serial number one, serial number 4, I will just press this delete button. So before deleting it will ask, displayed record will be permanently deleted. So the serial number 4 record is here, serial number 4, order ID 004. Okay, so if I click on OK, this will be deleted. Next is this restore button. So this is not enabled currently. This is basically to restore our data. If we put any wrong data, then we need to undo that. Like let me change it, uh, the serial number 5 into let's say 51. Okay. And I need to uh, undo that change. So what I'll do, I'll press this restore button and it will undo that. Next we will see how to update a record. So let's consider this record, serial number 5, order ID 005. I'll change the status, currently this is packed status. So I'll change it to shift. So I'll change it, shift. 
So you can see in this table the serial number 5 and order rate is 005. The status is packed. So now we are changing it to shift. We are updating this record. Now we'll press enter. So now you can see this has been changed to shift. So like that we can update a record as well. Next we'll see find previous, find next and criteria. This criteria button is used to search a particular record or search a set of records. We can say filter out some records. So if we click on the criteria, now I want to search some order with order ID, let's say 007. I'll put 007 against order ID and I'll press enter. So it will show me all the details of order ID 007. Like that we can search a particular record. We can also put multiple criteria. Let's click here. And now we'll put multiple criteria. Let me first clear this using this clear button. Now I want to search the orders where the supplier is K1. So against supplier, I'll write K1. And now I can use these find buttons, find previous or find next. Okay, so let me click find previous. So it shows serial number 2, order ID is 002. Serial number 2, order ID is 002 and the supplier is K1. So if I press find next, it shows serial number 7, order ID is 007. So this record, order ID is 007, the supplier is K1. If I again press on find next, it don't show anything because we have only two records with supplier K1, serial number 2 and serial number 7. We can also use wildcards. Let's click on criteria and now we'll use the wildcards to search some records. So I will search all the records where the supplier starts with letter S. So I'll put S and then star or asterisk. So these are the records S1, S2 and S3 where the supplier starts with letter S. Now I'll click on find previous and it shows serial number 6. This record serial number 6, order is 006 and supplier is S3. So now if I click on find previous again, it shows serial number 3, order ID is 003, serial number 3, order ID is 003. And again, if I click on find previous, it shows serial number 1, order ID is 001, this record where the supplier starts with letter S. If I again click on find previous, it won't show anything because this is the first record. And if I click on find next, it shows serial number 3, then serial number 6. Because in these three records, the supplier starts with letter S. S1, S2 and S3. So this is how we can easily search a particular record or a set of records using the criteria functionality. Now we'll see how to put data validation or some restrictions on entering the data into this table. So let's close it for now and I'll put the data validation on this column order date. So this order date column contains only the date type of data. So let's go to this data tab and here we have this data validation. Click here and click on this data validation and now it will open this and under settings validation criteria yeah so it already contains a data validation it shows under allow date so basically in this column only the date type values are allowed and ignore blank is checked then data between start date and end date so here we are specifying a start date and end date and the dates between these two dates are only allowed if i put a date value outside this range that won't be allowed we will check it now let's click on ok now let's open the form again this year form now we'll add a new record click on new button and serial number 8 order ID is 008 order date now i'll try to put a date which is outside that range that we provided that is 1st of january 2022 and 31st december 2022 i'll put the date as 31st december 2021 status i'll put created and supplier let's say s1 so the date range allowed is 1st of January 2022 to 31st December 2022 basically that is the year 2022 and now we are providing a date that is 31st December 2021 if we press enter it will throw this error this value doesn't match the data validation restrictions defined for this cell okay so that is how you can put the data validation and you can restrict entering the data which is not allowed so that is how very efficiently you can enter data using this excel form and also you can update any record or search a particular record or a set of records using the excel form and also you can put data validation or data restrictions in this table so next time when you go for a data entry work do consider this feature i hope you like this feature and enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time